Hi guys, welcome back to my Instagram, IGTV, YouTube, wherever this ends up going. Um, so I did a poll on Instagram and it was between doing a makeup tutorial and showing you my kit, my makeup and hair kit, and that one. I'm going to end up doing both, but I'll just do this one first. So let's hop right into it. This is my hair bag or my hair kit bag. Um, this is where I keep everything hair related. Um, it has two wheels and this goes up. I love this bag and your shoe print. So I'm just going to start on this side. So in this pocket I keep a few hair products because they kind of fit in here well. I think there's three. Yes. So the products I have over here, this is the Redken Hot Sets 22. Um, I use it as a thermal protectant. Then I have the Wax Blast by Redken, and then the Powder Grip by Red Redken. Um, this is like a texturizing powder, and this is obviously a spray wax. Um, so I keep those in this nice little pocket on the side. Things do move around, so that might change. On this side, there's another pocket which is exactly the same. I have a bio silk shine spray and then I have a extension cord slash power cord strip I think that's everything that's on this side yeah this thing takes up most of the space and I didn't have space for that so I just put it here and then we have this little pocket right here so in this pocket I keep my heat mat for my tools and then I also have a bottle of hand sanitizer because I do sanitize my hands frequently between um, different clients. So that's what's in that pocket. Okay, so now we're going into the main part of the bag. Okay. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, right on top here I have, I just bought this new mirror. Sorry, it blinds you. Um, but it's just a basic mirror. Um, I use this for mostly my makeup, but I kind of just shoved it in here. It's just a roll of paper towels. Another hair product, um, Redken Hairspray. I keep a couple towels um, just to keep everything clean when I put my stuff on there. Um, we have a couple curling irons. I have a wand and a regular curling iron. I do have a couple more. They're just not in here right now. Um, my hair donuts. This is like my extra stuff, but I have a huge thing of clear elastics. And then in here is a bunch of extra bobby pins. And then my hair bungees are in there as well. So that is what's in that part of the bag. Let me just throw some of this back in here. I will normally also have a flat iron and then a few different um, curling irons, like different sizes. And then there's this front pocket right here. This is like my majority that I keep, bobby pins, regular pins, um, I have a few hair ties, some bungees, um, like my quick go-to and then my extras are down there in case I need more. And then in this little flap right here, I have um, some rat tail combs. This is some duck bit or duck duck bill clips and some pin curl clips. And then I have a bunch of basic sectioning clips. And then that is pretty much it for the hair stuff. Um, I might have some little odds and end things that I'll throw in there based off of whatever client I have. Um, but all of my hair stuff pretty much fits in this one bag. So I like that and it has two uh, little handles and it rolls. And then next I'm going to show you the makeup. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff and then I'll be right. Okay, so I do have 
things kind of scattered around and moved around a little bit um but i'm just gonna go through it i just wanted to kind of show you what my little rolly thing looks like so this is it kind of hold it up it's on wheels there's a little drawer down here and then this opens up and then there's stuff in there but i just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what that looked like and then i have some other stuff too okay so first i thought i would show you um my brushes so this is what i've been carrying them in but i think i'm gonna end up changing it they're just these little tubes brushes are fine um they're from morphe they do say morphe on them right here um but they're really nice i put the eye brushes in there and then i have the bigger one that oops i got sponges in here too but um face brushes will go in here these are my clean brushes i need to clean the rest of them um but that just kind of gives you an idea of brushes and if anybody's wondering majority of my brushes are morphe um, I do have some BH Cosmetics brushes that I really like, Artist Couture, um, that's pretty much the gist of the brushes. Pretty easy and self-explanatory. So let me just pop a lid on these. Okay, first, a little bag. So this is what I'm currently keeping some stuff in. Um, I have some new Morphe clear nice ones, like tote things coming in. Um, so this is kind of temporary, but in this first um, little bin here, I'm still moving some things around, so don't mind some of the disorganization. Um, so first off, I have lashes. These I get off Amazon. They're very affordable and super nice quality. So I'll just kind of give you an idea of what they look like. They're really nice. Um, so my lashes and this container specifically here um, I keep majority of my setting powders so I have like my airspun I love these morphe morphe elf um, setting powders I have a Jaclyn cosmetics setting powder and then a couple BH cosmetics setting powders and a morphe and then my setting sprays that I use are the, oof, I hope you can see that. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star setting. And then this is the Luminous setting spray from Morphe. So I have those in there. And then I have this little guy, which is a nice fan. Um, so when I do lashes or if I just set their face and I want to accelerate the drying, I keep a fan. Oops. And then I have a pair of scissors. And then these need to technically not be in here, but these are just some cotton rounds that I keep in here. Um, and then I also will keep my clean sponges. These are e.l.f. sponges. I really like them. I also have Morphe sponges. I'll throw those in there as well. Um, but that's pretty much everything for this container. I don't know if container is the right word for it, but this little bag. Um, oops, for the brushes in there. The next pink bag I have is like the liquid bag. And then I have a couple other things that I just bought that I threw in there really quick. Um, so I need to actually move some of these around. So in here, I'm just going to kind of hold this up. I have, maybe I won't because it's so heavy. <laughs> um, these are all my liquid foundations um, and concealers. They're all in here. Which I have a couple I need to add in here. So this is all liquid products. And then I also have my little um, palette. I don't want you guys to get an annoying glare. But that you put product on and then it has a little spatula in it as well. I got this on Amazon for like 12 or 13 bucks. 
definitely need this to stay sanitary. So I just have that kind of chilling in there. And then we're gonna move on to the bottom drawer of the tote. I showed you on the through these the setting spray in there and then we shall move on. Okay. So in the bottom of the tote is where I keep some extra stuff. Um, those lashes technically can be kept down here as well. But just to kind of show you what's in there, I keep lashes. Um, I love these BH Cosmetics lashes. These are super natural. Um, there's another semi-natural pair. Some more dramatic ones. Um, I try to keep a little bit of an array of everything. So, um, there's usually something for doing there. The next thing I keep in there is this called the color switch. Um, it's a little like foam thing. So if you have a dirty brush, or not a dirty brush, but like if you're switching between shadows but want to use the same brush, you just swirl in there, it'll remove the excess product and you can dip into another color and you don't have to worry about the previous color being on there. This is in like a must. I keep a thing of scotch tape. This is a daily brush cleaner from e.l.f. I use this in between clients to clean the brushes in between. I also, it's over here, have a bottle of alcohol. So I use that to sanitize everything as well. And then I have some makeup wipes. That's all I really have down there right now. Um, so I, said, I kind of move things around. Now moving to the top of the case. This is my little skincare container, which I need. So I keep a lip mask, some daily moisturizer, and then some micellar water. This is where the cotton pads need to go. Um, so anything skin care prep wise, I keep in this little container. I really like it. The next bag is this little black one. And here I keep all of my primers. So just to show you a few of my favorite primers, uh, I love the Morphe primers. So I have the Morphe ones. Um, Elf Putty is like a state milk primer. Um, the Milk Cosmetics or Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. I like that. Um, and then for some glow, I have the e.l.f. jelly primer, this stuff, or primer, it's a jelly highlighter, but I use the over top primer, it's amazing. And then I do have a couple eyeshadow primers if I don't want to use concealer. And then I have another little um, spatula thing, if I can find the hole, put it back in there. Um, so that's all primers. Oh, and I have a cover FX one. So I keep all the primers in there. And then, in this super cute holographic looking bag is all my lip products. Um, I'd like to find a better way to store all of these, but this is just kind of what I have come up with. For, I won't pull all of these out, but just to show you a few of the products that I like to use, I use Morphe lipsticks, Ulta Beauty has really good lipsticks, um, a local brand to where I live, um, it's called The Collection, love that lip gloss, and then Artist Couture I use a lot. Um, so I keep all of my lip products in this bag. And then, just to go over some side products um for like toppers i have these elf um like glitter shadows 
I have this one. Um, this is kind of like sitting on the top. These are contour sticks. I have two different shades of contour sticks. And then um, this is kind of like a universal light shade bronzer that I'll use to like kind of build up a contour or a bronze. And then I have three Diamond Lights finishers from Artist Couture. These are great toppers for shadow. So that's in the first little spot. And then below that is where I keep all my highlighters. Um, I'm selective on my highlighters because I have a few that I are like my tried and trues. Um, I'll just throw a couple of them out here. The Artist Couture Loose Highlighters, the Diamond Glow Powders are a fave. This is my all-time favorite highlighter, the Airspun Highlight. This is the Amrezy Highlight from uh, Anastasia. Those are basically a few. I have more shades, I just want to put them off. But um, what I use for highlighting. And then when we jump to the other side, I have Grab them. These are all little um, brow duos that I use for um, doing clients' brows. I have a couple different setting gels, um, a couple brow pencils, and then some Morphe pomades for mascara and liner. I have a couple different uh, things that go with that. So I have four mascara um, for like a quick, because you don't use a lot of mascara because I use falsies, so I don't spend a ton of money on mascaras, but the falsies is really good. And then the ColourPop mascara is really good. Love those. Highly recommend getting a waterproof if you're doing brides. And then I have two different black um, gel liners. And then I have some liquid liners some pencils, um, some different, uh, there's a bunch of different black liners because typically I use black. And then I do have, my dog's going to start barking, sorry, um, some Juvia's Place highlights. These are awesome. I love them. Alright. So we're getting to the end here. So now I just have a bunch of palettes that I thought I would show you guys. So the first two palettes are from BH Cosmetics. It's a contour palette and a blush palette. These are amazing. You can tell she's used. Love that palette. And then this is my nudes blush palettes. These are great. Um, I have three Juvia's Place palettes that I like to continue to carry with me. This is the Nubian, as you can tell. has a lot of neutrals in it. This is the Nubian 3 Coral. I absolutely love this palette. Gorgeous. And then I have the Nomad by Juvius, which is just like the most beautiful color scheme. I keep it in here just in case. Then I have a few Magnetic palettes. This one has a lot of different um, uh, shimmers in that that I like to use. This one is a bunch of just different mattes and things like that. And then I have this magnetic palette that has a bunch of different, again, matte shades. And then I have my Tati Beauty palette. This is a great bridal palette that I like to keep with me. And then I also have this, which has a lot more cool tone shades in it. Oh, it just like busted on me. Um, so I have to keep that for cool tone shades. And then a couple new products that I got were the Cover FX. This is the Monochromatic Bronzer Duo. Um, it's beautiful. Get a little closer so you can see. I'm so excited to use that. And then I got the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. This has a little bit of everything in it. It's super pretty. I thought it would be good to carry. 
And then lastly is just my disposable box. This has um, little spoolies in it. Oops. We have some lip uh, brushes or some liner brushes. I keep these little guys to hold clients' hair back. The charger for my little fan. Uh, eyelash curler, tweezers, lash glue, another little pair of scissors, and some Q-tips. I keep all that in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's still a few other things that I'm gathering and getting put together. Um, that's majority of everything that I bring with. Um, I have my ring light in front of me that I will also bring with. And then I have a tripod. I have another small little ring light. Um, so I'll bring a little extras like that. But other than that, that's pretty much all I bring. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little um, tutorial of what I bring with me for clients. And if you are interested in booking with me, I have my website. I will make sure to link it below. It's always linked on my Instagram. It's linked on my Facebook. Um, I try to link it everywhere. So if you're interested, please check it out. Shoot me an email if you're interested in booking. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put this all back together.